guys, on today's project, we're going to be enclosing this with a little bit of mesh that we found uh, locally here. And uh, you can get it also at uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, places like that. But uh, this uh, in behind this grill and also the bottom opening where it is uh, doesn't have a grill mesh or uh, a guard on there to keep uh, your pets or uh, something else from getting down into the basement portion of the the toy hauler here so um, that's going to be our project today so we will uh, show you how we did this here's the mesh that we picked up uh, I believe at Lowe's actually uh, where we found this uh, it's a 12 by 24 uh, Lincoln black and it's first we're going to remove the the original grill here um, and it's just uh, six uh, Phillips head screws that you take out of this um, you know and they uh, they come out fairly easy so I just actually use a, a quality screwdriver uh, to get these out uh, there's no need to have your uh, little impact there um, you know uh, sometimes uh, these screws don't take much to, to come out or put in so we got that screw out and now we're going to just uh, reach in one of these slots here and, and work this grill out from under that step um, this one wasn't real tight so that grill slid out pretty easy and uh, there you can see directly into the basement so uh, with this piece here it should uh, you know distract that view a little bit um, so it's not uh, so noticeable in there and we may also take a piece of loom and uh, finish that uh, um, outside water spigot there uh, just to uh, um, change the color so you're not seeing that blue through the stairs so what we did next is uh, just took our scribe there and made a mark um, at the six inch um, we're going to come six inches down from the top and just cut a straight line across this um, we'll put a um, a straight edge across there and just make a take a magic marker and uh just uh so we stay uh straight on the uh the tin here so um it just makes it a little easier then we're just going to take our little pair of uh the fiskar shears here and uh um, go ahead and cut along our scribe line and uh that should make a uh, a nice clean cut on this um these are pretty awesome for uh, little projects like this And then you can see with the um, with the 12 by 24 on the top grill section, um, you're about an inch and a half short with that piece. However, uh, with the basement section uh, or the bottom section of the stairs, um, you only need about a four and a half inch piece to go across there. So um, we're going to take and get our inch and a half from this. And that saves us from buying uh, an extra piece um, but you could get two of these if you want and then uh, you would have uh, just have a spare <laughs> um, so that's uh, that's what we did uh, with ours we just didn't want to have a lot of uh, extra pieces laying around so we just put a little piece on there and what we're going to do is split this section right here so that you don't see the joint where we join these two pieces together and also it hides this wide piece uh, through the original grill okay guys so uh, we got all of our pieces cut here we're just going to take a little bit of the silicone glue just to kind of tack those uh, pieces there until we get that grill um, uh, attached back with the Phillips head screws that we took out so um, that should go back in fairly easy and then uh, um, that'll get a, a little more diffusing back into the basement with still letting the airflow go through. Also took and just cut a little piece off the around the screw sections. So when you do join these uh, pieces, 
and you go to put your original grill back on that uh, you don't have trouble getting the original screws back through uh, that little piece of tin that you just added to the back. And now that we got uh, that tacked on the back part of the original grill, um, we'll just give that just a couple minutes to set up and then uh, we should be good to reinstall this part and then we'll work on the bottom section. And there the, uh, the original grill was back on the uh, top section. Um, as you can see there, we just put the screws back in um, to that section. And uh, over here where we joined the metal, you can't uh, notice where that metal uh, starts and finishes. So, um, you know, in behind there, we just didn't want to buy a couple extra pieces and have that um, laying around. These little blacking blocks will just be held by one drywall screw um you don't need much in there to hold this it's just a um a little more security um and if you don't have that double-sided tape will hold them all so uh, that stuff is pretty strong okay guys on this section here we're gonna go ahead and uh we cut a few blocks uh you know they were just like a one by two and we made those uh three and a half inches uh to get them in behind there and uh, that'll help us uh, support the edging uh, when we go ahead and screw our uh, mesh to the bottom section here. And it just helps hold that. Um, we're also going to use some uh, uh, double face tape. Um, so when we do put our screws fast uh, on the, this section, that it will um, hold on the different ends here. So um, that will help just hold it back tight. So uh, this bottom piece that fits in that section there, uh, we're going to go ahead and attach it um, using some of this alien tape that we picked up at Walmart. Um, this stuff uh, works rather well. We uh, actually, uh, if you saw the video on uh, some of our soap dishes that we hung, um, that is uh, some of the backing um, for the clear plastic that we put behind our soap dishes. So um, anyhow, this we did pick up at Walmart and uh, you got three 10 foot rolls in there that you can cut and um, it, it is uh, double sided, waterproof, indoor, outdoor. So um, like I said, uh, we'll leave a link below for that and a link below for uh, the mesh that we picked up at Lowe's. So we just cut about three inches of our alien tape off here and we're going to go ahead and, and just stick it fast to the block that we put on the bottom there on both sides and then uh, we can uh, peel the backing off and uh, that will hold the sides and then we will put maybe a, uh, a screw um, or two in there just to, um, you know, finish it off. So I took a piece of the alien tape, I run it across the entire top of this, and uh, because uh, the finish board here, if you see on the bottom, is about a quarter inch to an eighth of an inch uh, difference than the top, and that will um, make up for that section, and then maybe we'll put um, two small screws in the bottom of this to actually hold the bottom. So I just finished this up. Um, I just put a piece of alien tape clear across the top, down the sides, and uh, that actually helped uh, it, it ha attach that uh, right to the underneath part of the um, the stairs, and uh, that closed that section off so there was no gap at the top or bottom or the sides, and that will uh, deter, um, you know, maybe mice, or uh, it would keep our... Uh, our little um, pet from going down through that also um, so and it doesn't take up any space for uh, what it was designed for is maybe to put your shoes under there when you come in the door so um, that's just uh, how we did ours and uh, just thought I'd share that with you so guys that's just another project that was finished and uh, if you like our videos please like and subscribe to our channel